couldn't sleep because it was too hot. So I woke up early and decided to go check the crops. Although I hit the edge of the city a little too late for the actual sunrise, there was plenty of amber light sweeping across the countryside. I didn't see many other people, but the birds were awake. They were up to the daily business of cleaning the nests and, for the blackbirds, harassing the hawks. And if the light on downtown Calgary was gorgeous, it was even better on the fields. It lit up drooping wild oats and barley that was still green. Dewdrops on grass on the edge of the field caught the morning light and refracted it like miniature crystal balls. It made the serrations on the barley beards glitter. It was hazy for the first hour or so right after sunrise and it softened the views around Mossley. But a little ways further south, it was clear. Mule deer wandered around. Birds sang on the fence lines. But it was the grain fields that I was really looking forward to. So I sat down beside one to have a look. It's fascinating to me that maybe eight weeks ago this was a bare field, and now it looks like this. And the edges of the field are fascinating too. This spider had spun its web close by. And dragonflies were out in the warm morning sun hunting for breakfast. All around me was a constant buzz of insects. And grasshoppers? <laughs> grasshoppers everywhere. Things are starting to ripen, not just in the grain fields, but in the pastures too. The wild grasses are setting seed, and their tans and ambers are echoed by their tame cousins. This winter wheat was particularly lovely. Depending on the angle of the sun, it was copper or gold, or a combination of both. It was absolutely gorgeous. Our father was a grain buyer and he'd take me and my brothers along every once in a while when he went out to check the crops at this time of year. And once I started driving on my own, I just kept on doing it. I love looking at the variety on the land, the canola, the barley, the wheat, all those fields stretching off as far as the eye can see. So now I've checked the crops again. And you know what? They look good. <laughs> 